In this video, I'm going to be showing some more trades and sales. So first off, I'm going to start with a, uh, F. this is a sale. It's a two-part sale from Mr., if I can get this name right, make sure he doesn't have his address on it. Yeah, Mr. Uh, DJ BJ. So, Dear Cat's Meowth, here's $8 for the Noble Victories Reverses, Bisharp, Seismato, Duosian, Tynamo, Girder, Amoongus. So, uh, there's the note there. He sent Mario cards as extra. So, really cool little holographic Mario on Yoshi. This was uh, for the Super Mario Brothers uh, Wii version game, so pretty cool. Um, in fact, I actually haven't looked at this to see if there's... Yeah, you got some cool stuff on the back there, too. So, that's actually really cool. Love Mario. And then uh, the second part of the trade, which I actually... Funny thing is, is he sent them out on different days, which is why there were two parts. However, I got them on the same day. So this one says, Dear the Cat's Meowth, here's the $20 for the Pikachus and Reverse Pikachus. Usually I list what I'm trading for, but the list is too long to put here. I look forward to continuing trading with you, Mr. DJ BG, or DJ BJ. Um, and yeah, uh, obviously for just Pikachus, uh, which are usually common cards, uh, he had a long list of Pikachus and Reverse Pikachus that he was buying. I think like, uh, oh, what was the total? Like 40 cards, 30 something cards, something like that. Um, so quite a few. We have a Hollow Blue Toad sent as an extra. A uh, Meowth from Delta Species sent as an extra. And uh, there's the money. So uh, let's go on to a trade. Uh, actually, let me show one more sale. Um, so this is a... Oh, sorry, that's my phone going off. Um, I'm actually not supposed to read the note. Um, actually, I will, I'll show you this part. It says... Please don't read to YouTube. Don't read name. Um, I don't know if he means by his name, like his YouTube name, which I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm a little confused by that. Um, I won't read the note because um, basically it's an apology note. This is from Black Ops Boss 98, and uh, if you didn't want me to share this, um, I'm sorry. I make reference videos of, of everything that I get. The issue that I had with this buyer... Um, was that he uh, asked if I had some new cards. I said I did. I, uh, he, he said he wanted to buy them. I sent him prices. He said, okay. I asked how... Whoops, there goes my, my Blastoise again. It already fell down once. Um, I asked him how he wanted to pay. He said through cash. I said, great. And I sent him my address. As soon as I sent him my address, he comes back and says, never mind, I don't want them anymore. And uh, that's backing out. So I told him, all right, well... You're untrusted now because uh, you literally just uh, had me uh, check if I had these cards for you and, uh, you know, look up what they were worth, give you prices, you agreed to the prices, I sent you my contact information, and then, um, or not my contact information, my, my, my address so that you could send me the money, um, and once I do that, if I haven't already pulled your cards, I pull your cards then, so I had had them pulled, so when he immediately backed out, I then have to put them back. So it's just, it's a huge time, a uh, waste of my time. And there are many users out there that intentionally do that because they think it's funny. So um, as a way to counter that, anyone that wastes my time like that, after you agree to something and you ask for my contact information to, you know, send, to, to follow through with the sale, and then you back out of it, um, you're untrusted, and that's because you're intentionally doing this to waste my time. Now, if you actually give me, like, a legitimate reason, um, and I've had people that have uh, agreed to buy something and um, have said, you know, uh, maybe a, a, a few days later, I am so sorry, I've had a death in the family, something like that, um, I'm completely understanding and, uh, and we go about our ways. Um, but when it's an immediate back out like that, it really is It's just clear that you were trying to waste my time and... Um, yeah, that's essentially what you're doing. So uh, uh, this this guy, this kid did that. Um, I think it maybe freaked him out a bit when I told him he was going on an untrusted list, and uh, he immediately re-agreed <laughs> to send the cards uh, or send the cash for the cards. Which um, here we go. I mean, it wasn't even a big sale. It was just a few bucks. And then he sent some um, cards as an apology for the mishap. So a meowth. 
a Matang, a Beldum, a Ledian, and a Lediba. So I'm, I'm really glad he followed through because obviously now that he followed through, he won't be going on the untrusted list. In fact, he will be going on the trusted list. But this is a warning to others um, that may be dealing with him. Uh, if he says he's going to back out, um, put your foot down. You know, say that's not okay for you to back out. Um, you know, whatever uh, excuse that you're giving. And, you know, I think he uh, when I told him he was going on the untrusted list, he said, well, my dad just said I couldn't send. And that's really not a good reason. You, you should be responsible enough to make sure that you're allowed to buy cards before you agree and, and to have uh, personal information um, given to you. So anyways, that's my little rant about that. And now let's get on to a couple of trades with uh, the very noisy background, which... Um, is a kitten playing with a box of cards. So we've we've got a foster kitten in for the week, and he's uh, making as much noise as he possibly can. So actually, now that you've sat through my six minutes of rambling, here's some cool cards. This is from Pac, Paca, I think it's Paca Lapras. And it says, Dear Cat, I'm glad we can make this trade. I am grateful to make my first online trade with a big Poketuber such as yourself, so enjoy the cards. That's right, extras. Really? Actually? Oh, I didn't even notice this. Um, so, this is what our trade was for. was a full art restroom EX. Pretty cool. Um, this wasn't something that I needed, but I'm currently trading like uh, hollows, rares, reverses, pretty much bulk stuff for newer EXs. And that's just to try and clear out some of the weight of my, tr my trade binders. Um, one card weighs less than 10, obviously. So, this was pretty cool. And I didn't notice this until right now. But there is a bottom half of an Entei Raikou Legend as an extra. So that is really awesome. Thank you very much. And really cool Ultra Rares. So the next uh, trade that I'm going to show you is another one that I'm really excited about. Because it's got lots of cards for my collection. I'll go ahead and read the note first. This is from Cheese Puffs 12 it says, Dear the Cat's Meow, th I think that's... Thanks for, yeah, thanks for trading with me. You are one of the most trusted traders ever. Thanks again, and good luck completing the Dragon's Exalted set. Cheese Puffs 12, P.S. Sorry for not throwing in extras. I have no problem with you not throwing in extras. Pretty much my rule of thumb is if I see you throw in extras, I'll throw in extras. If you don't, I don't. Um, that's typically, that, that way I'm, I'm fair, or trying to be fair to those who send, and um, I, I don't have to deal with extra postage on uh, those that don't send. I make exceptions every now and then, but that's typically the rule I follow. So, first off, we've got some really awesome reverses to add to my collection. Hopip Reverse, Drifloon Reverse, Golette Reverse, Houndoom Reverse, Manectric Reverse, and Diano Reverse. And these are all, of course, from the new Dragon's Exalted set, a set that uh, I still don't have my booster box for, although hopefully by the time this video is actually uploaded, um, I will have my booster box and will have it opened and uploaded. Um, but again, I'm having lots of issues with uh, an eBay seller right now, and um, I will be going into detail on that in the opening um, to hopefully warn other people of not buying from them. So the last card of the trade, which is totally awesome, need more of these, is Ability Hydragon. So this is uh, an awesome pair with uh, Darkrai, uh, Darkrai EX obviously. Dark Trans lets you move as uh, your dark energy around as often as you like. Um, to like from one to one Pokemon to another, so this is a great way to work to to maintain your energy attachments. Pretty much Shaman Celebration Wind as much as you want, but only with Dark Energy. So, um, yeah, this is great with Dark Energy, with Blend Energy, with Prism Energy, because um, you know Blend and Prisms all count as uh, Dark as well. So, um, I'm still looking for three more of these for a deck. Um, I'm also looking for Garchomps, uh, the, the good Garchomp, the one with, I think it's Mock Cut or something like that. Um, and Altarius from Dragon's Exalted. So if you have any of those, um, and of course I, I have more wants on my, uh, my website, thecatsmouth.com, so definitely check that out. Making lots of trades right now for Dragon's Exalted stuff. So stay tuned for more TCBMs, BCBMs, and uh, some FCBMs if I can ever get around to it.